strictly on paper. How can you hold your advantage? How can you hold your lead on Yoshi? If you have good SDI and you think who's just mashing that X button, I can just imagine Swoilers jumping out of there. Oh, yeah, I was dead wrong about PS2. Actually, this might have been like, because uh, this is definitely a counterpick stage, by the way. Uh, you can check the, the uh, stage list here at smash.gg slash Xeno. This is a counterpick stage, but because it's still on a legal rule set, they can gentlemen to it. So it yeah. looks like they opted for it. And here we are, game one. Uh, quick 44% from Suarez. Ooh, and Suarez just has to remember that Pikachu on that falling down it always has an impact hitbox as well. So just something that you got to keep in mind before it comes out. Um... Ooh, right now, you see, like, oh, I think he's going through, like, a lot more resets and a lot more, like, one-off hits and maybe not as, like, big conversions and loops uh, that we saw coming out on Dill. Oh. oh, yeah. Okay, so just got a little note from my producer. Spoilers is the one who actually sent other Fang to losers, and we're seeing a bit of that reason why. Just catching his air dodge so uh, comfortably. Yeah, a very good opportunity here to get the full on double elimination. And then, like, if you're R Fang, you can and can't be mad about it that you lost to one player, but, like, you really want that run back. And it's, you know, one stock is just one stock. Uh, R Fang's down, but not out yet. Ooh, does Petra have a kill throw? Nah. Ah, there it is, baby. Yoshi double jump mm. armor, just able to get you out through oh. thick and thin. Tries to go for the drag down, down, or maybe falling out. Tries to, like, fix and clean up that situation. But you know what? At the end of the day, ends up getting with punished. And now, all you think, cleaning up that stock count. Yeah, right here, the Pichu action that we're seeing here. An opportunity to just take the lead uh, at any moment. But let's see what Suarez can do to answer back. Really good oh, tag bye. chase, too. That's going to be the jab block, uh, but uh, doesn't go through like an F smash finish. He just uh, ends up throwing uh, other thing off stage. Once again, that down throw is just going to be a bit of damage. And there is Yoshi just getting out of all of those nasty predicaments with double jump. Yeah, uh, that must have been like a technical flub because that was absolutely going to be the stock at 70% on Pichu. But, you know, uh, a sigh of relief definitely here for Spaghetti. And wow, trying to get the forward smash on shield, going to be a hard punish. And I just love the, the contrast between the two player camps right now. Suarez all the way dialed in for this. He knows what's <laughs> on the line. He wants to make it to losers finals. But uh, Spaghetti uh, just staying calm and composed and trying to bring this to even. Yeah, but Pichu going to be setting up a bit of stage control for themselves right now. This is definitely other things stock to take. Look how comfortably he is just parrying all these projectiles, Ooh. not giving good Swarlis the time of day. But once again, Swarlis is back here. Like, not even just Yoshi's, it's his now. But he just gets <laughs> so much mileage off of it. Yeah, it's like they just patched it right in. The downers, though, going to knock him out of the park. And uh, I feel like that back here just would not have worked on most characters. But Pichu being as light as Pichu is, is going to be enough to do it. But now, last stock scenario, when you have an opportunity here for Spaghetti to go up 1-0. Lightning loop. Absolutely not. Swoilers well, is just able to double jump out of there. One little tiny gap in between the multi-hits is, is all that you really need. Um, and now, once again, they're completely back at even percent. Uh, but Swoilers well, is just going to be keeping everything in such a nasty position off stage. Yeah, it's absolutely saying like what combo and now this is a very scary actually for Suarez as well Now both of them at high percent a Pichu forward smash might be able to do it while chasing the option right there on the tech no, I'm so surprised that jab didn't connect but Pichu was just outside of the range of the hitbox Now Suarez is looking for that forward a little bit too much Ooh. knockback But at the end of the day just sharks uh, all the things so well and finds the upper yeah, I think that's two stocks to up air and one stock to the last hit of back air. Really good pressure, chipping away uh, for a very long time to the point where Pichu just can't take it anymore. And yeah, just, again, catching the landing, catching the air dodge, and that's going to do it. Also, at the top right of the screen, we see 250 contributed. That's five people to the Macharino. Type in Macharino in the chat if you want to contribute to the prize pool and be a part of this, man. We're all a community together. So, expansion Macharino, uh, you know, five of you did it. We can get more people to support the uh, competitors today. Mm -hmm. And with that being said, for game number two, they're just going to be going to go right back to small battlefield. Um, I guess, yeah, Yoshi definitely has, like, the counter pick advantage here, so other thing. Maybe, like, not too many options um, with where uh, they might opt to go. But already a comfortable 38% onto the board. Tries to go for the drag down back here, but Suarez is just not having any of it. Uh, amazing hot start here from Suarez. Sorry, uh, on Suarez from Spaghetti. Uh, this is a, kind of the polar opposite of what we saw game one. But I say it all the time. It's not a game about stocks. It's uh, sorry. It's not a game about percents. It's a game about stocks. And uh, uh, Suarez has all in it to uh, make this even at any moment. With that back here is going to be such a good position for them, and just catching Suarez once again. So. The thing is, like, with projectiles offstage like that, obviously, can keep yourself safe. But if you don't recognize how close you are to the opponent, you just end up putting yourself in a lot of end lag uh, that can be used against you. 
Yeah, we, we've been talking about this like a lot of the night. Wow, just like that, calling out the panic option, making it an even game, two stocks to two. And we were talking about it earlier tonight where uh, a big part of this game is pacing. And both these players play at a very high pace. So it's very interesting to see these two just kind of duke it out, go hit for hit. Pusua is trying to go for a bit of a Bugavus mix up there, but uh, ends up only getting a Gavus B instead of Bugavus, and so doesn't like drift in towards the platform. Uh, it seemed that he just kept all of his momentum. F Smash doesn't kill quite yet. Yoshi's a big boy and just always has so much air acceleration to keep himself safe. Oh, no way, that's it. Wow. Catching that down throw into the uh, suboptimal DI, and all of a sudden, we have a really good chance to see a game three between these competitors. We want Spaghetti to get his revenge, but uh, <laughs> Suarez has a lot to answer to. He wants to close this out in a 2 0. And Swag is just sitting in shield so patiently. He's not going to be able to kill. Oh no, Swag is letting it rip a little bit too soon. Maybe anticipating oh, the mistech. Oh, oh. Pichu does not die. The DI on that egg. Oh, that's going to do it. Wow, he's been getting that a lot tonight. The patience from Suarez acting up right here, not making an even game. Wow, Swag, Swag is ledge trapping is so menacing. It sometimes feels suffocating just how he is able to cover everything at the same time. That time, Swag is dropping his shield a little bit too soon. Ooh, dropping again. his shield a little bit too soon again. Just needs to hold it. Oh. But uh oh. Yeah. Oh, no way again. Oh, here we go. Such yeah. good patience. He doesn't drift in until that egg actually connects. And then he chooses to go back on. So, just good uh, recognition. <gasps> oh, no, no, Yoshi no. cheats again. Okay. But the L Smash is going to do it. Do it. it took way too much damage in a lot of the process. But I do want to point out. Oh, there's, there's actually something really smart that Suarez was doing specifically. Uh, uh, okay, so maybe I can see it again in replay because, like, it kind of blew my mind when it happened to the point where it was like, okay, so let's see if we can see it right here. Um, uh, okay, right here, yeah. He recognized that there was shield pressure on Pichu. That shield break would have been the game for Suarez. That's what I was talking about. It's, it's the Ganon in me that saw the shield pressure. <laughs> let's talk about that again. Let's see what we got here. Oh, wait. Uh, maybe the, a little uh, bit too uh, far into the future. Too much percent right there, and the Pichu up smash is going to do it. Going to run it right back to Small Battlefield for game three. Here, it's nine stages, two bands, no DSR. So, like, you won one game here, I won one game here. But this is it. Loser's bracket, now or never. Will the double elimination happen, or will the revenge be taken from Spaghetti here? And Swellings keeps on tracking and following uh, a lot of these whiffed aerials from Spaghetti, but sometimes he's just missing those whiff punishes, be it with some button or the neutral B. Um, he's just like always maybe a little bit too slow, so just has to press those a little bit too. Sometimes waits out that double jump, able to shark him, and finds that foil as a kill. That was just amazing tracking. <laughs> Absolutely, he's chasing and suffocating the space that Pichu exists in. And Sweet Spot or Sour Spot, Sweet or Suarez, uh, either way, Suarez is just taking it all the way. Uh, either hit it forward or would have done it. And now it's the Suarez show to get some extra credit. Who sets up that tech chase? Are thing not going to be able to cover the tech goal in time? Um, now Suarez is just playing it back just a little bit, trying to get a bit of space for himself. Maybe catch a jump in with some of these rising aerials, but other thing, playing one step ahead of him and constantly with punishing him. Yeah, this is the worst part about Pichu uh, being a stock down, because now a lot of these hits are basically hurting Pichu. Uh, like every single move that uses electricity yep. is extra credit and money in the bank for Suarez. And it just so happens that a lot of these tools are so important in through Pichu's neutral Ooh. or grab follow-ups. Once again, scouts out that double jump, tries to go for the two frame or maybe a high recovery with back air, but either way, I can't see Suarez losing a stock immediately, but, you know. No. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. As soon as it came out of my mouth, I was like, he's losing a stock now. I'm so tight, but I, I saw it coming. Yeah, lots of those moments tonight, but now here comes the expert ledge trapping from Suarez, looking for an opportunity. I think he was looking for the uh, down B yet again, but the back air is going to seal it. Two stocks to one, zero to zero. This is the Suarez show, unless uh, Spaghetti Arfang can make the answer happen right now. Uh, oh, wow. Look at those beautiful uses, too. Swaggish just gets so tricky with it. You just never see it coming each time, and sometimes you just got to hold those hits. Other thing, looking through that big combo starter down throw, does not find the up air. Swaggish just able to uh, attack to safety. Yeah, the level of patience here being exhibited by Suarez, man, all Yoshi veins need to start taking notice. Uh, bring out your notepads, because this has actually been incredible. Because uh, Suarez has been in that chair for how long? Is this like three consecutive sets, and now working on a fourth pretty soon? Yeah, no, he's just been playing so, so well, but other thing, starting to make a bit of a comeback, doing a really good job of just sort of pointing his Suarez and making sure he does not have that space to be able to retreat to safety. He is oh, chasing oh, oh, oh. him. Oh, oh, wow. Absolutely a full-on chase XPA. That's it. Yeah, that's a confirm. <laughs> that was brutal, especially on the tiny Pichu, but that's going to be an amazing game three going in the favor of uh, Suarez as he stays. Yep. 
for a little bit longer here to go to losers finals. So I would I would I would really want to make note of just like how dangerous like Yoshi's upbeat at the ledges uh, when when he spaces it like that because from here, right? And then let's say Yoshi, uh, you know, does go for forwarder. Either way, that forwarder <laughs> at falling and spaced correctly is going to be safe. But you can also react to the ledge. Well, you can <laughs> react to. And, and just that, you can you can react <laughs> to the egg hitting shield, and then you might be able to get a grab out of it. You might try to go for some other like jab mix-ups on shield. It's just a nasty predicament to find yourself in. So either you find yourself shielding the egg, or you find yourself getting hit by the egg and getting spiked. So what's your counter play? Well, if you hold on to the ledge a little bit too long, egg can also hit you there, right? You're gonna have to either try to time a jump, maybe time a neutral get up a little bit sooner, uh, throughout like a spot dodge, or you're gonna have to roll in. And rolling in on somebody who's already sitting at a roll distance, that is so scary. So really, the goal is to be able to press a button before Yoshi has that egg out. Because the longer you let that situation go on, the less and less options you actually have to be able to escape the ledge.